Steve Smogger was an American boxing referee from Atlantic City, New Jersey. He has refereed more than 200 title bouts and is one of the more well-traveled of his profession, holding the distinction of officiating in more states and countries than any other boxing referee in the history of the sport. He has also officiated kickboxing matches. Appointed in 1980, Smogger was the first full-time city prosecutor in the history of Atlantic City, serving in that position until 1992, when he was appointed to the bench of the Atlantic County Municipal Court. On May 27, 2017, in Atlantic City, Smogger became the first professional boxing referee to be inducted into the newly created Atlantic City Boxing Hall of Fame, joining Don King and Michael Spinks among other inductees. In 2014, the World Kickboxing Network recognized Smogger as a qualified referee in kickboxing. Steve Smogger died on December 19, 2022, at the age of 72. Christian Salisbury was an American gridiron football return specialist and wide receiver who played one season in the Canadian Football League for the Edmonton Elks. As a senior, Salisbury was a team captain and ran for 1,390 yards, scoring 19 combined rushing and receiving touchdowns as he led his team to 13 consecutive wins and the state championship, where they lost 50-20. to He was given numerous honors for his senior performance, including selection to the AutoZone Liberty Bowl, First Team All-State, All-District, and Division II Offensive Player of the Year, among others. Salisbury was shot at a party in Walls, Mississippi, in the Memphis metropolitan area, on December 17, 2022, after having turned 25 a few days earlier and died en route to the hospital. The shooter was arrested later that day. Charles Anthony Gracchi, known professionally as Charlie Gracie, was an American rock and roll and rhythm and blues singer and guitarist. His biggest hits were Butterfly and Fabulous, both in 1957. Gracie's father encouraged him to play the guitar. His musical career started at the age of 16 when he appeared on the Paul Whiteman television show in 1952. Gracie performed at weddings, local restaurants, and parties, and on local radio and television. He also won regional talent contests. The owner of Cadillac Records, Graham Prince, heard one of Gracie's early radio performances, contacted the young musician and signed him to a recording contract. Gracie died in Philadelphia on December 16, 2022, at the age of 86. He was married for over 60 years to his wife Joan. They had two children, a son and a daughter. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I need your support.